Today we're building the biggest volcano you've ever seen in Minecraft history, and not only that, 100 players will be racing to the center of it for a big prize. <laughs> but you won't know what it is unless you watch till the end. If you didn't know this, guys, this is how volcanoes are made in the wild. Ben, tell us about that. Um, well, currently my- That's enough, thank you. And now, we get to create and slowly sculpt this beautiful little volcano Ooh. here. So here comes a little spicy, exciting three-second montage of us building it. Ready? And just like that, the boys and I have built a magnificent volcano. We've got trees, dead trees, stone, and Isaac's wrapping up the top right here. It's still a work in progress. So Ben and I are starting the first zone right now, which Ben, you know what we call this one right here? Go ahead and tell me. Um, I believe we call this the, uh, I do not know the name of this. I was hoping you remembered. This one is inspired by Hannah Montana. It's called The Climb. This is The Climb. Players are going to have to climb up the volcano to be able to jump down in the center. So we want to kind of mark the path they can be in, but not too obviously. So maybe, so don't, don't make it like an exact science. We'll have barriers on the outside, but this will be like the V path where all the traps will be. So this wood path here is going to be our climbing stage. Maybe we'll start going through a tunnel. That's gonna kill half the server. The easiest possible yep. thing. I like to make it a little wider because we know in the past, so many players, it's hard to see. So four wide's good. And then we should add a shortcut, Ben. We never do shortcuts. Not yet, we'll do it though. At the very end, we'll add a shortcut. It's a simple button that takes you to a trap door and gets you the diamond. So, <laughs> okay, very, we'll do it. Very... Just put it in the wall where no one can see it. Maybe a little bit of like flint and steel or nether rack on fire throughout, I think would look yeah. really good. Oh, dang, here comes the lava. Okay, okay. I told you there was lava coming down. That is a very menacing looking front. First trap comes in here, guys. You got the easy lava. Let's make it a little harder. You just died. How about this? You got the lava. I call it the lava checkerboard. You just walk through it like this. I'm going to put some pressure plates up for the second trap here where players actually can launch fireballs at everyone that's behind them. Let's add um, random parkour jumps in the lava so players that choose to can like risk through it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> gain like nothing basically other than... Yeah, but they might think that's the only way. They're like, oh, I got to obviously do this. Oh, do I like that? Try. I like the I like the color a lot more like this. It looks good. Oh my gosh, Ben. The fruit mode. Ooh. The fruit mode from Fall Guys. How okay. can we do that here? How can we make them dodge fruit? You know, you could run a command or a flip a lever's that will drop anvils on them. Okay, I like that. Anvil drop. We'll make like a couple paths up because there's so many people in these. So how about we both make like two courses each that just go through the lava, whatever path you want to take. Right. Wow, there's this is looking insane. This should honestly be like the fastest way right here. Yeah, yeah, we should make one super quick. Make this one like super easy. Let's give them like a way to cross the street, you know what I'm saying? And take it to right here. Should we make it so if you get to the top, you have a way to like stop people from like you could literally like pause for a second and try to kill people? Like a log that rolls down on them or something? Like we could use fire. I don't know exactly what. Arrows maybe? Ben, add arrow launchers with levers all around so people can launch arrows. Add um, like poison arrows, arrows of leaping, like give them arrows that actually could help them if they hit themselves. <laughs> Slowness, that would be so annoying. I'll do something right, right here. Come take a look, Ben. This is exciting. Players might say, hmm, this looks a little bit easy right here, but we're gonna dig a bunch of holes down. It'll lead to secret lava pits. Ooh. So this will be our death zone trap focused around giant random holes to nothing, which always gets a couple. I love these big events. These are fun. This is like a house flip with death. I was thinking like, just, just like that, a blaze in the wall. He'll just snipe you when you're coming up. And then finally, we'll need a couple ways to get to the center. This will be the breathe zone. Give him a little break. Oh, that's a long dropper. Oh, yes. I'm gonna do something here just to give them the impression they're supposed to do this, but there's no reason to go here at all. Wait, 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 what if we did it, but we actually put like a real healer there. They actually had to earn it and it was a real legit heal dispenser. That's a good idea. We've never done that before. Getting a little creative here, folks. So guys, zone one is completed. The crust zone, the climb zone. The Hannah this. Montana. Time to get started on zone two, which is of course the volcano's shaft, which is a very long, deep tunnel. Oh, Fish, As you, can you are a jerk. She's already started. I didn't even see the block. <laughs> <It's> so, <laughs> so bad. I got night vision. And that's what I see. No way. Let Ben. Let's let's do like an airport landing strip on that thing. Let's add some end rods on it so they can see the dots as they come down. Not only will you die, you'll get spiked to death. But Dave Erickson's had a bad day, apparently. <laughs> Now guys, floating lava may not be what you think of when you think of a giant volcano, but it is today. This might be one of the hardest droppers I've ever seen in my life. The thing that's coming together right now is coming from a dark spot inside of Ericsson. This is coming from someone who has been hurt and who wants no. to damage people. Oh, what is this? You have to fall through this? What? Okay, so Ben, this is where the final zone is created right down here. Just what is at the center of a volcano? I'm gonna ask you once, Ben, give me an answer. Uh... 
the center of the Correct. volcano. Correct. There will be something inside the volcano, perhaps a monster, designed to kill you. So maybe there will be a little something down here that you've got to fight in order to get to the final zone. How are you going to do that? That's what I want to do. Uh, that I can't answer yet. Does oh, anyone I know a command to create a mob with extra abilities? Uh -oh. I don't know. Are you yeah. talking something of this sort? Okay, but they don't do nothing. They do nothing. There's they literally, they just cool. Is that not intimidating? It yeah, is intimidating. I think we should put them facing the people. Not there, but like facing people. So Isaac could sit down here, give him really strong gear. His goal is to kill people. Ben and I will hide chests around, and they have to kill Isaac to get the clue on how to get to the next zone. To, so they, there's like gear down them for their... For them yes, to find you're gonna have like full diamond with like basic and chance on it. You don't you don't attack them until they attack you is the rule. Okay, so I'll put some chests down. But like, how hard is that? Is that actually hard or is it just weird? Uh, doesn't look too difficult. I, I think it just looks cool, but it's not actually hard. Make this a make this a little challenge room. Like, make it so they could get here and still die. Like, make it like kind of a harder parkour. So I've got spawn. We've got the beginning traps. We've got all of the arrows. We go all the way up to the top of this massive thing, which is an insane parkour course. You finally get to the top of the volcano, fall down an absurdly difficult dropper that's extremely far. Sploosh. And then zone three, the central region where Isaac cult members are guarding the secret door, which leads to an insane. This is what. Okay. Huh. That was easy. I see what you did. You made it so you can't see the roof and you have to guess which way to jump. <laughs> Ooh, that's nasty. I was just going to put like a bunch of fireballs in it. Well, that'll kill him. How are you getting through that? What? Yeah, you can't. It's not even possible. You cannot get through that, Ben. What? Fireballs don't kill you instantly, sweethearts. Yeah, well, but. There's 30 of them. In there's there's 30. Not all I guess only one launches. So they fall off right here. The players are actually kicked from the event and they won't be able to finish. Does that not look so much better already? If that doesn't look good. Now we won't do it the whole way up because as you guys know from second grade, science that class. hurts your eyes and makes it so much harder. The magma? Yeah, that's a good addition. <laughs> You're right. You can't identify the traps now easier. We'll just do a little bit here and there. Just I mean, overall though, this is a... Ben's uh -oh. opening the gate, guys. And uh, <laughs> look at them. <laughs> they want help. Here it goes. Oh, what up? Oh, you, Zach, I said that would kill tons of people. Oh my gosh. This was literally the easiest challenge, and we've already lost half the server. And here our first contestants make it up. And their first view of the volcano of doom in first place right now is coming in at uh Ruben again in Cebu. Oh, oh Ruben's on fire. The fire. And uh Ben, lava it, lava it. We missed a gap. We missed uh, a gap. Back. There you oh, go. Oh, he does it, gets a little healing. And uh -oh. Ruben has located the He's center crouching. of the volcano. <gasps> Real oh. vibes goes. That's an F. Oh, and they're oh, dropping. Oh, oh, oh. Here goes there a guy, and that's a death. Because this is what Lil Nuggies is seeing right now in the course. Blade she sees a target. She sees, and, and, Here we and, go. Here we go. We're still oh. oh, Isaac's down there preparing, guys. The longer you wait, the more powerful Isaac gets. I love Ooh. hearing that noise. The body, the noise of a body falling. And I'll shoot everyone here that doesn't jump in like five seconds. Here we go. I'm just kidding, guys. I wasn't going to do it to you. Here. Little Nuggies has entered. <gasps> Two yes. people made it. Now, guys, the rules oh. is if you kill oh, Isaac. Oh, you, no, no, wait, oh. wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, you don't she get... said no. Isaac cannot attack you until you attack him. Open chest, get whatever you want. But Isaac can also push buttons every chest you open. So, Isaac, push a button. Yes. So, I'm just getting beat up by the evokers right now. <laughs> Isaac's dying to his own monsters. Uh-oh. She's going for the kill, Isaac. Here we go. I have to wait until she hits me. Goes invisible, but she has armor in your Oh, oh. oh. oh my head. gosh. Oh, yes, I Tiny's made it to the new zone. Oh, oh, there's so many. Isaac is not going to make it through this. Oh, he goes back in the center. Very smart play here. How's your health? He goes down. You've all been kicked. You've got to return to the cave. Pandas gets it. Got to find the pickaxes. Got to open it. And then got to find the secret room. Lots of players now have made it to the bottom. Who's going to make it? If you miss jump. Tiny makes a jump. Makes a sprint. That's it. That's it. That's a wrap. Peace. Pop tart. Let her rip. Okay, they're float. That didn't work at all. Did it? Wrong. Skeppy, if you could slide in my DMs and show us what your uh, anvil command is, I'd be much appreciated. Thank you, sir. <laughs>